Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing my series on songs and artists that have inspired me in hopes to be able to inspire you, and I've chosen a group called The Hollies, and the song is called Long Cool Woman. We'll do it first, we'll talk about it after like we always do. Let's rock. <laughs> Okay, so um, the goal for this is not so much to teach all the technicalities, and I do that in my course. I have a singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. Um, the idea is, is that we're taking some of these timeless classic pieces that you may or may not have ever heard before, but they certainly are um, icon and sort of epic standards where they've set the bar for certain pieces and kinds and styles of music. And it's a great way to grade yourself to see how you're doing in the course or how you're doing with your own singing to see how you stack up to some of the originals. So I challenge you, go back to the originals, listen to those, it's called Long Cool Woman, it's by the band called The Hollies, and see how I stacked up to the song. In fact, do that to all my stuff because I think you might be pleasantly surprised at you know kind of what I'm showing you guys um, and then and then do yourself a favor I mean sing some a cover yourself or whatever and see how you stack up and how you set the bar for yourself do you exceed it do you almost hit it because it's a good barometer to tell how you're really doing rather than kind of deceiving yourself and thinking oh I'm doing great or I'm doing terrible you know whatever that is so Okay, I wanted to add an addendum to this how to belt song and series because I'm going to do a few of these and that is this it's one thing to be able to just shout or belt or yell out a few you know, lines in a song and people can refer to that and call that quality belting. And that in fact is absolutely not the case. What I'm about to tell you is imperative that you really understand the process of this. The first thing is strength in the abdomen and, and doing enough strength training in the abdomen so that you can relax the chest, the neck, and the throat. I cover all this in my singing course. The second thing is to understand how much breath control to use and how to manage that breath control. The third thing is, especially with a lot of these smaller phrases, instead of taking large breaths like we take short breaths in order to be able to um, have quick strength in, in the sound without having these gargantuan, you know, big movements within the abdomen so we can keep our, 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 our I call it the Porsche of singing, you know, our, our moves really small. And then last, as we strength train to these things, what we do is we, we actually strength 
train scales and whatnot that are within the range of the songs that we're planning on singing so that we can maintain a level of that and kind of govern the sound. So we're not just killing it constantly, but we can actually have and manage total control of the sound. Now we do this with different vowels and vowel modifications, and I covered this again in my course, but I wanted to emphasize the importance first of the strength training of the core first to build up stamina so that you will not develop strain in the chest, neck, and throat, the amount of controlling the breath or air, open throat technique, keeping the throat open so you don't uh, regurgitate in the back of the throat and have the consonants constantly closing down the back of the throat to give you freedom in the vowels themselves and then the vowel modifications that you've strength trained through good quality um, scale training, okay? So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless and uh, we got more coming your way. It's like